Hello friends and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, I hope everybody's doing fine with all this pandemic stuff going on. It's been kind of crazy. Uh, let me tell you, I went to the store and to buy meat and all I could find was big pork shoulder. So I got a couple. I'm like, okay. So um, we are going to make some breakfast sausage, okay? So um, we have the ingredients right here. I'm using some pink Himalayan salt. I'm running out of sea salt, so I'm gonna try this one. Uh, some ground white pepper, ginger, red pepper flakes, thyme, and rub sage. All the measurements are gonna be in the description down below. Okay, and we have here, we have five pounds of ground pork. Okay, so all we're gonna do, I already washed my hands. Now, I'm just going to put the salt and the rest of the ingredients. Oops, I forgot. I forgot. I, I like to rub the sage like that and put it in. Okay. Let me get the rest of it in there. The sage, I like to I'll do that. Okay, and we just mix. We mix really good. And this is a good breakfast sausage. You can just make it in patties, crumble it up with some eggs or biscuits and gravy, you name it, whatever you would do sausage. Okay. And um, before I put the sausage away, I usually like to let it sit for a day or overnight. So um, after I mix everything up, I'm going to uh, cook a little bit on a pan and then we'll taste it to see if it needs anything else. You know, we if it might need salt or a little more sage or just to make sure that it's Good tasting like we like it. And um, but after we let it um, sit in the refrigerator overnight or however long you want, just I do it overnight, it's fine. And uh, we just take it out and put it in, in baggies, put it in the freezer. If you're not gonna consume it right away, put it in the freezer and uh, and it'll last you to six months in the freezer, okay? And you can really smell the sage. Okay friends, now we're done mixing our sausage. Now let's put it in the pan. We have this in here. Let's just do a little bit so we can taste it. I want to come up. There we go. And hopefully you have all the that you need all the ingredients uh, at home to make this because um, I wouldn't want to go out to the store. Not that. So it doesn't have very hard ingredients, so it's more than likely stuff that you already have in your pantry. And 
As you can see, I did not have any oil in the pan, but um, our sausage has enough fat in there that you don't need to add any more fat. Good. Oh, we got a big piece of the sage there. Get a fork so I can get a plate and fork for us to put this in. And look, there isn't a lot of grease left in that. Now let's taste it and see how it is. Mmm. Very good. I don't think it needs any salt or anything else. It's got good flavor. It'll taste better if we leave it uh, in the refrigerator overnight. And uh, we just cover it up, we'll leave it overnight for the flavors to melt before we put it in baggies and put it in the freezer. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys like it, and please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Okay, we'll see you later, bye.